All right, we're gonna continue with our simple earrings filigree. These are gonna be similar to the last video if you saw that one, but basically just take three beads, six millimeter, four millimeter. This will be six, this will be four, same as before. And you can modify this any way you want. Obviously, you can add more beads, you can add different size beads, but we're gonna do 20 gauge today because it's easier with, we're gonna make this a double filigree one. So we're gonna start by putting the beads right in the middle of the wire, and then we're gonna fold them over like this. And we'll make a, we're gonna keep this double strand together like this. We're gonna make a double loop like here, and then we're gonna just start alternating the loops going this way, and then this way, and this way. So the next set will go like that, and then the next set will go like that. And this will bring us back up to the front. To anchor this, we'll come straight through here and then do our top loop, come around and scarf our top loop to finish it. And that should bring it all together. And once again, I know that this is the most beautiful drawing you've ever seen. And you probably don't even wanna make the earring, you probably just wanna cut out, you probably wanna just screenshot it, print it out on your computer, cut out the paper, put an earring hook on it, and call this your earring. And you don't have to do any of the wire work. You have a paper earring that's like probably the best earring that you've ever had in your life because I drew it. But if you want to do the wire work, I'm going to use this. I got this nice red burgundy color. You don't have to use this. You can use any color you want. I was going to use antique copper, but this is what I have in 20 today because I need to get more wire. Anyway, let's take, how much are we going to need? If I figured it out beforehand, I could tell you, but I did not. I have no idea. So I'm going to take about 14 inches, a little more than a foot and I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not even sure if that's right. That's like maybe 30 centimeters. And that might be a little more than that, but we'll figure it out. Let's put our beads on. Today we have, I think this is some kind of really pretty pink shell type bead. I'm not 100% sure, but it's cool. It's crazy cool. It looks like a, a little painting. And these African turquoise, it's they're listed African turquoise. They're actually uh, turquoise dyed jasper. They're four millimeter and they're really cute. And that is what we're gonna use. So thread these to the middle of your wire. And then fold over and crimp. So they stay in the spot like that, okay? So I bring these two strands together and immediately we're gonna do a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Now, I keep these strands side by side. You gotta pinch them a lot because they try to roll over each other and flip and fold. And you can let them flip and fold. That's a cool look too. But if you're gonna do it like this, you wanna try to keep them together. And I get my loop and then I roll it. You can make your loops really loose or tight. Tight tends to look neater and better and it makes everything stronger. So you wanna, you wanna aim for tight, but then again, it's, you know, if you want bigger loops, it's totally up to you how you wanna do it. Um, so following this pattern here, now I'm going to go for my loop coming this way. And I'm pinching these with my fingernail again to keep the strands side by side because otherwise they will just want to um, fold over each other. And then I'm going to do... Again, I'm alternating this way and then this way, so my next loop is gonna come around this way. I'm pinching it around, making the loop around my, my fingertips like that. This way, if you might notice, I haven't picked up a tool yet, well, except to cut the wire, so. You can do a lot with just your fingers. This is the nice thing about 20 gauge. If you put it in the right structure, it's strong enough to last on its own. It doesn't need a, a thicker wire, but it's malleable and flexible enough that you can really have fun with it and just play around. So this is the part where I said I was gonna thread it right back through here. So here's, this is a little tricky because now I gotta back up. I had it going right the way I wanted and now I gotta back up and try not to kink the wire. Um, kink, kinking it means like put like a little, a little fold into the wire that you don't want that if it gets pulled tighter and tighter will become either look ugly or worse yet, could actually break the wire. Um, Oh wow, this is looking like super pretty all of a sudden. Look at that. It's like a, I might want to modify, do something different now. Whoa, I kind of like that just like that. 
Well, let's keep going with it and see what it what it turns into. Um, that's pretty too, but that was cool for a second there. It's kind of like a harp. If you if you want to modify yours and just pull it out like that and then do like some other stuff, you can do that too. I'm going to stick to the design just for now, but I, I think I'm going to make a bunch of different versions of this if you guys don't mind. I mean, hopefully you won't mind because you don't technically don't have to watch every single video, although it will enlighten your soul if you watch every single video ever made on this channel. Um, if you want to take up that challenge, you know, I'll start recognizing you if you comment on every video and then I'll be like, I know that person and we'll become like best buds if you're into that kind of thing, like if, you, if you'd like a best bud. But in any case, here I am trying to pull this tighter and tighter and then do the top loop like I mentioned in the video, which goes right here. And then... Pull that, play with it, get it tight. Now this one, this top loop, if you're gonna scarf it, you can make it a little bigger because you need a little room. Um, I kind of don't like this one sticking out as much. I want him to be a little more subtle. So I'm gonna kind of roll him and try to pull him back like that. And again, you could do a bunch, of, you could do like a bunch of loop-de-loops. You could have like a whole long line of beads and do a bunch of loop-de-loops going all the way up. This is just showing you a simple version, but Let's scarf this and finish him off. So scarfing is what I call when, when you take, when you have a loop and you finish it by taking one or two or one or two or more strands and wrapping it around the base of the loop, pretending the loop is like a face and you're giving it a scarf. You're tucking it in for the, to be, you know, warm when it goes out in the winter cold. And then what you do is when you get halfway up or as far up as you want to go, uh, you kind of pull it out diagonally and then you cut it halfway across the loop. And that leaves your two, be careful, you don't shoot the sharp ends anywhere. That leaves these two sharp ends right here that you can tuck into the bowl formed by the scarf. So what you want to do to tuck, you want to, first you want to pinch them towards the middle of the bowl and then you want to redirect and pinch them down into the bowl. And, whoops, I totally missed that one. I was going to say, this takes a little practice. Some people have a hard time at first, but uh, I usually do it pretty quick. But in this particular pattern, it like, I had to mess with it a tiny bit. So here you go. There's one. And that looks pretty cool. And then you just put the earring hook and you're done. I don't have these red burgundy earring hooks, but plain black earring hooks I do have, and that'll match close enough. Now here's the cool thing. I showed this in the last video. Um, you, you don't need to worry about making them opposite. Just make them exactly as identical as you can, and then flip like that before you put the earring hooks on, and you might need to, you know, mush them a little bit, but that way you get them facing opposite without having to do that weird thing in your brain where you try to imagine how the mirror part looks and, you know, try to make it opposite as you're doing it. Just make them the same. It's easy. Put the earring hooks. Boom. We're done. Now that was fun, but I got to try that way that I just did where I accidentally pulled it out and it looked crazy. So bear with me. I'm going to do one more set. Sorry. I don't mean to give you guys an extra set of different earrings in the same video, but you're gonna have to deal with it. Okay, I got into this part of the earring again, and this is the part where I back it up, and I try to get these strands to go through there. So, back it up carefully. Try not to make a crazy mess. All right, we're putting them through, right? We're pulling them. Right, we're gonna keep them side by side. They're trying to roll over each other. I think that actually will impact it, so I'm trying to twist them back because they twisted on me just now get them back side by side okay there we go and okay so see this we're, we're pulling them through and suddenly they make this really wild shape like this how did that work? It looks so cool. And that was like something like that. 
and it, it like totally changed the shape of the earring. And I'm gonna say like, this one comes around here, this one maybe comes around there. Or no, let's put it around the pink one. That Put this one around the, the turquoise like that. And then look at that. Now we got this new wild thing going on. What is happening here? I'm trying to make these. All right, so, so that happened. And uh, I'll just finish the loop off and see where it takes me. Like, keep this wrapped around the turquoise and come up like this and then make my top loop. And yeah, that's like a wild variation. Look at that. And I'll scarf him again. And you know what? I can't I can't bear to scarf him. There's like too much cool stuff happening here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna um I'm gonna turn these. I wrapped them around once. That'll hold it hold the loop tight. But I'm gonna turn these into like little curly cues because there's so much cool stuff. We need to add even more cool stuff. So this is like the ooh la la variation. So there's one curly cue there, and this will be a bigger curly cue. No matter how much I try, I, I, I always seem to end up with one strand longer than the other. So this kind of works out because this is going to be like a wilder thing where, where one, one, uh, one loop comes down a little more and is a little, a little bit more, um, a little bit bigger. Look at that, that is fun. If I can get him in there and get him in there. I'm just playing around, I don't even know what I'm doing now. I was gonna say just make this a necklace pendant and be done with it so we don't have to do it twice. It's kind of flimsy for a necklace pendant. Remember, pendants are gonna get beat up more because they bounce around on the chest, people give each other hugs, you know. Whereas earrings, people tend to be more gentle with them. Although earrings can get snagged in the hair too. So you don't want to make them too snaggable. Well, anyway, that's a fun variation. Let's see if I can do that twice. Close enough. The only difference is because I didn't actually measure the wire, which might have been smart. Um, I don't have the same long and short one going on here, but I think I gave myself enough wire that I can just cut this and I will end up with the long and short, just like that one. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. Uh, this one, the strands need to be a little more separate, like on the other one. There we go. This needs to be a little bit more together. This is still a little flimsy for me. I think I'm gonna twist these one more time. That That's gonna strengthen that a little. Yeah, there we go. That tightened everything up. Wow, one simple twist. Do the same with this one. Yep. I mean, these little coily things are still a little worrisome. They could get caught in the hair, but if, if that bothers you, you can kind of wrap them around and tuck them in somewhere a little better. Um, but I think for the most part, these are going to be pretty cool. Let's try to make them look a little more uniform. But we won't go crazy. Let's do the flip. Ah, oh, the flip messes us up. Look at that. Now the, now the um, it doesn't really mess us up. But now that these swirls are on the back, so let's move them back to the front where we can see them, so they are prettier. There we go. Voila. Oh, I like them. I like them like that. And that one's kind of tucked in there, so that's kind of safer. So uh, this one, this second one, almost looks a little better. Let's make this these a little tighter, and I think we're good for the hooks. Voila, so here we have the extravagant and the simple. You could do whichever you prefer, or you might find as you start to make these, you come up with your own design, which is even more fun. But go get some wire, go get a few four millimeter, six millimeter beads and knock yourselves out. You guys make some awesome stuff because I know you will. See you soon.